guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're doing a B&M haul. Uh, now I have to say it's mainly food and cleaning bits. Um, I would love to have bought more bits and things like that but at the moment we are in the middle of trying to decide whether to move or not. Um, we don't know whether we're gonna move house or stay put. It's just that you know, the thought of having to trail around houses, put in um, bids, win those bids obviously and then sorting mortgages out and all that. Anybody that has been through this process knows what it's like. So we're, we're still trying to decide what we're going to do um, as far as that is concerned. So of course I just feel um, bad and bits and pieces for the house is a bit redundant because I don't know, what are we doing? So yeah, it's cleaning and food bits. Sorry for the ramble, but I just thought I'd let you know that's mostly what this haul is. Honestly, I just, I'm so distracted with these dogs. I can't lock them out because they bark at the door and whinge and cry. But they're in here. They're either lying be good or they're going to do things like this. So try and ignore <laughs> what is going on in the background. Right, so let's get started. As I say, just boring everyday things, but... You know, if you're interested, please keep watching. So the first thing I got was a uh, kitchen roll. I know it says pets on it, but I buy this stuff. Um, the Ordinary, this Regina, it's like a white and blue. This one has got the white and like a peachy, orangey color to it. But I mean, kitchen roll is kitchen roll. And um, you know, yeah, I go through a lot of it. So yeah, we got that. So by the way, the bags are quite heavy, so I'm gonna have to like lean down into them if you keep me see me doing this. Um, <clears throat> we then got a couple of these King pot noodles. Uh, Robert likes these. Um, he takes them to work so he will for uh, his lunch meals, things like that. Um, so he'll enjoy that. Um, a bag. Now I know these were only a quid, uh, which I thought was really good because. I know this one bag of Epsom salts. I will, it's lavender by the way. I will put the whole bag into the bath. Um, yeah, I really like um, Epsom salts in the bath. I really find when my colitis is really bad, uh, my colon um, and my bowel, it just all seems to bloat really badly at times. And I find that when I use the Epsom um, salts, that it, it helps a bit. Um, with my bloating and things like that. So yeah, I will put the whole bag in. So for a pound of thought, wasn't bad. Uh, next thing, some tea bags, PG tips. Um, I'm a big tea drinker. Uh, I have tried different types of tea, but I always seem to go back to the PG tips and the Tetley. Um, I have to say, PG tips is my favourite, but if I can't get hold of these or they're just too expensive, there's no deals on them, I'll buy the Tetley because there always seems to be deals on those. But yeah, tea bags can't live without. Um, next thing, some poo bags <laughs> for these tortures here. Yeah, um, I buy the um, the green ones for the food waste bin um, or your garden waste bin, whatever, because here, I don't know in England if you can do it or the rest of the UK, but here in Northern Ireland, uh, as long as you're using the green uh, waste bags, um, you can put dog poop in the waste bin. Um, so you can, so yeah. I find that really handy. It's not then um, in stinking out my normal black bin because I don't need to put that out um, as often. Uh, and in the summertime, it's not too bad because we have quite a lot of grass that needs to be cut. So the grass is then sort of over the yucky, stinky bags, sort of camouflaging that smell until the bin men come and take it away. I don't know why I felt the need to tell you that, but there you go, now you know. <laughs> Um, the next thing I got was the Fabulosa, the um, rhubarb wipes. Again, wipes are not something that I really like to use a lot of uh, for a cloth and a spray. But I always find just even having one pack about really handy. Um, 
just to quickly wipe over things if needed. Uh, so yeah, I just bought one pack of those. Uh, on to more wipes. Again, these are, they're a love-hate thing out there because they're not good for the environment, but they're just so handy. These are great. I keep these in my handbag. Um, one in my car and obviously for my husband and stuff in his car um you know for cleaning down my visor cleaning down my steering wheel um you know cleaning trolley and basket handles so they're really really handy um so they are because some of the stuff that i find the stores have an offer for you to clean your hands and stuff with and you try it's really harsh um my hands break out so having these quick wipe over saves a lot of problems with my skin uh, then I got uh, three bags of the Mac packs uh, this is these are scented I don't know why but this is a pink bouquet and these are jasmine I am in the middle of changing over my autumn winter clothes to my spring summer although it was snowing yesterday but uh, yeah so that's what these are for um so we'll see how far we get i've actually a couple more packets that i got from the range um so we'll see how far we get with these but yeah um i didn't get them last year and i regretted it because then i was just trying to shove a ton of clothes and winter coats um into bin bags and big um boxes and things that I have and it was just uh, taking up so much space so I was like yeah we're going to get these this year again we're not going to waste time thinking I don't need them because I did. Uh, the next thing I got again for my favourite angels lamb on the bed is these pedigree gravy bones. Um, they, this started out <laughs> as a treat for um, when they were toilet training. Uh, and it never really stopped. <laughs> so yeah, every time now they when we're out on a walk now we don't bother. But uh, every time they go out in the garden and go to the toilet, they get half of one of these. It's just a habit that I felt it fell into. Um, yeah, uh, as I say, the smallest jerky she was great. I had no trouble with her. Um, the little black Shih Tzu cross. She was a nightmare, a nightmare to train. So this, as soon as we had, uh, got her old enough and we were able to introduce these treats, worked like a dream. She then um, toilet trained really, really well. Then the bigger Yorkie here, Toby, he actually was my mother-in-law's dog. And he's 10. And obviously she passed away and he came to us. So he was never really toilet trained, to be honest. Um, he still would have had lots of accidents in her house um, and I just wasn't having that at, at all and I am not one of these people that believe you can't teach uh, you know an old dog new tricks trust me when I introduced the treats for him and uh, needing to go outside to the loo he very very quickly caught on and not one accident has that dog had in this house so yeah um, great uh, tip for anybody with puppies trying to toilet train but just don't fall down the rabbit hole that I did and keep giving them to them because yeah you make a rod for your own bag <laughs> but I love them I can't help it <laughs> um, next thing we have some of the fabulosa orange and apricot this is for the uh, bathroom uh, I actually run out of spray so I thought I would give this one a go. Um, I have tried a bathroom one before and I thought it was great, you know, it did the job. So yeah, got another one. Oh, I can lift this now. Uh, excuse the noise. Then got some very dishwasher tablets. Self-explanatory. I got some toilet duck. Need to keep that toilet nice and fresh. Um, I really like the toilet duck ones, especially the um, the scents that they're putting out at the minute. There's the jasmine one, that's a berry one. They have a a flower one, and they have a fruit one. Um, 
that are not like their standard range and I really like them and they're only a part of so yeah why not I got some shampoo and conditioner just to throw in the bathroom cupboard um, to have on hand because you know it's always handy to have plenty of shampoo and conditioner I got a Nivea rose face wash um, I really actually like this um, I'm actually using uh, a Garnier one at the moment uh, which I really really love but it's quite expensive when it's not on offer so um, it was like I can't even remember it was for like eight pound or something like this for something that is half the size and I just thought am I being stingy am I being tight that I don't want to pay eight pound for a face wash it's like half this size maybe I am I don't know but I just thought no I'm not paying that so I stuck to um Old Faithful that I know I like and does the job so I like to at least <laughs> As I was saying, before we got a bit crazy there, this 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 is what I have to deal with. These two, the black one and uh, my mother-in-law's dog, they tolerate each other. They can get a bit mm, with each other, so yeah, sometimes they get a bit nippy with each other. You have to just sort of go, hey, nip it in the bud. You have to watch them, but <laughs> most of the time they're very good. So as I was saying, stuck to Old Faithful with this one because uh, like to... Um, at least wash my face once a day in the shower. Are we going to begin? Are we going to stop working? Hmm? Yeah, your human sister's going to come home from work in a minute and then that'll be another bike match. Oh, she's there! <laughs> right, that's what they were barking at. My daughter's home from work, so there you go. Okay, we then have um, a, another Fabulosa. I will use this in the kitchen. I'm going to give this one a sniff because I've never tried this one before. It's a pina colada. Oh my God, it is. It's just like pineapple and coconut. And, oh yeah, that's really good. Really like that. So yeah, that is for the kitchen. That again was one pound, one pound something. I, I have no idea. I know it wasn't expensive. Um, and then the last thing in this bag... Robert picked himself up a shower gel, Nivea shower gel. He um, likes these, the Nivea ones. Um, he will buy the Lynx ones when they're on offer and stuff, but he's quite happy. Shower gel, shower gel. Okay, let's grab this other bag. So apologies for the the doggy noise in this video. As I say. They, they do get rather excited, um, but if I lock them out, it would be even worse. So yeah, I'm just, just go with it <laughs> uh, again these were 99p or a pound something like that robert really likes these so he got these ones which are the peanut butter uh, and popcorn and then the other packet he got was the chocolate pretzel and popcorn so yeah he really likes those he'll take them we so then got three bags of crisps uh, if if you're not from Northern Ireland, you may or may not know um, this brand. This is a Northern Irish brand. It's Kiddo. Uh, best crisps. Crisps. <laughs> That's what we call them. This is crisps. Uh, best crisps. Um, going in my opinion. We absolutely adore these. So we've got a smoky bacon, a spring onion, and a cheese onion. So if I had to move outside of Northern Ireland, I think that's what I miss the most, is potato crisps. I'm not a big fan of walkers or anything like that, so yeah, it would be ringing mum for a, a car package of potato crisps. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Oh, we got a, Robert also picked himself up a porridge. This is the um, strawberry jam flavour. We then got a bar of correct soap um i've always been a bar of soap user i know since the pandemic this coronavirus a lot of people have switched to bars of soap i've always used bars of soap i'm really old-fashioned that way um i just prefer them so yeah bar of soap again that was like a quid um some baby johnson's cotton buds these are really good 
for um i use a lot of these for corrected makeup mistakes or when i get out of the shower and i don't put them right in my ear no but just this bit of my ear just the outside here for giving it a bit of a dry um but yeah they're always handy to have for something um, and some hand wash again this is it's in the kitchen um obviously when we're cooking things like that it's handy to have just to give the hands a quick wash um, and that's it really the other things i have here was just a couple of things from the range it was another couple of packets of backpack bags and a packet of coffee for our filter machine they were the range. nothing exciting but yes uh that was it for today as i say nothing really big um as far as her wear or anything like that because like I said we're thinking of moving so and it's driving me crazy because until we make that decision we're sort of stuck in limbo but yeah just a few bits and pieces to keep us going I hope you enjoyed today's video if you did please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you all again soon bye